I have consumed the sandwich. My hunger has been sated. Now it's time for the fear. I'm like trying to think, what are the kinds of things that are going to take away our chill in 2024? We're gonna have a lot of really cool games. We're gonna have a lot of really cool anime. That covers about half of my uh, media consumption right there. Silk Song Dev. <laughs> yes, I definitely have Silk Song on my bingo card for 2024. Yes. Chat, here's the deal. Here's the deal. For every one of you that show up on day one of my Silk Song stream in 2024, I will, like, I will gift, like, for you here specifically. If I recognize you and you say, hey, I was here on the third Fear and Hunger stream, I'm gifting you a sub immediately. But if Silk Song doesn't come out 2024, y'all have to gift me a sub. <laughs> Those are the deals. Them's the deal. That's just, that's just, that's just how it is. Like, we can't all be clowns for the, for, we can't all be clowns again, right? So you have a 90% chance of winning the bet. But before, I wasn't gifting you any sub. That 10% though, like, you know? <laughs> in before Team Cherry drops Silk Song in two days, and it's technically not in 2024 or later. Team Cherry just breaking the universe again. Can you imagine? What would be the dumbest days for Team Cherry to just suddenly be like, yo, we're shadow dropping it here. The day Persona 3 Relo comes out, there you go. April Fools, yeah. Oh, the election day, that would be. <laughs> the US president's election day. <laughs> that would be, that would be funny. <laughs> Wasn't it planned for Q1 2023? What, you think Team Cherry communicated these things like in a straightforward manner? But where have you been? What kind of, what kind of stuff are you smoking? You in some kind of alternate timeline with like canon events and shit. <laughs> Zote for president. <laughs> All right. Oh Lord, give Claymore. Ba bam, bazinga. Okay, first things first, let's feed my starving children. So, moldy bread is chill. Right. Cool. That moldy bread meta though, it it uh it hit different. Okay, why does it tell me to optimize with the priest room? Is it magic defense really that good? I guess. Boom, baby. Wait, we could give a pine cone pig to the girl. Hell yeah. Double the pine cone pig, twice the pride. Where's the girl's doll? I have to find that too. There's a possibility with this weapon we could kill uh, the big golden guy, but I, I doubt it. I think we'll need like either more party members or just... Oh, fuck me. <sighs> That's right, I'm playing this game, I'm playing this game. Wait, use red vial? What does a red vial do for a lock? That's interesting. Tails never fails. Hell yeah. Soul stone, let's go. Tails never fails. God damn it. No! I should have just waited. No! All right, we gotta have the girl just guard. Oh, wait, wait, we didn't even get attacked. Oh my God, they spawn in, but they don't necessarily immediately attack you. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. Hmm. Oh wait, cursing equipment. Oh shit, wait. Oh, it takes three. That would be pretty sick. So maybe we shouldn't use the skill, get the skills right now. What skills did we get? We ended up getting lock picking, I think, and dash, which dash was really sick. We moved really fast. You know what I want though? What was that ability that made us able to do like two actions a turn? Fast stance, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So first, 
Let's use the Hexen. Let's find Fast Dance, first of all. There it is. Cool, cool. Yes. Yeah. No! Oh, shit. Do we need to have domination in order to be able to do it? Oh, maybe we need like a major soul. Yeah, that makes sense. If there are is if there are lesser souls, then there are probably like greater souls or major souls. What is Unguard? That feels like a taunting ability. Doesn't sound good for our strat. Save for Claymore. Yeah, I think I'm either gonna save for Claymore or figure out some way that I can get fast dance. On guard sounds more like a repost. Repost. We could try it. That's a good point. We did just save. Like, we're not in any like panic right now. Let's learn. Let's. What? What the fuck? No. So because we have steel, we can only do the things that are connected to it. Or is it maybe like an order thing where like dash, steel, and lock picking are all ones you can get first? but on guard costs like two lesser souls. That would make sense, but it doesn't show any visual differences as to why you can't get it now. Oh God, the sounds in this area are too much. Oh. Stone, all right, there's a freaky thing up here. Oh God, oh God. Please ignore me. Ignore me. Thank you. Yep, 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 yep. Ignore me, ignore me, ignore me. I'm just chilling, I'm chilling, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? What? I lost both my arms just there. So you have to like rush them. Let's try and steal from them and you guard. We're just learning things. Clearly I can steal with no arms. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's nothing. Wow. Well, game over. Cool. Try fast attack. Life is peculiar when you're peculiar. Got that right? I'm liking you already. I know we just met, but I feel the connection forming you already. I hope you don't mind if I ask this straight. Living humans are divided into two groups, yes? Oh, I never saw this before. There are children of light, those destined to walk under the bright sun. Those people do well in all hardships of life. They have dear humans who they want to return to. Even in the darkest hour, they can feel warmth of their loved ones in their heart and gain extra courage from that. Then in the opposite end of spectrum, there are people of darkness. Those humans are often driven to depression and sorrow because of life's peculiar ways. But they have learned how to live with those feelings. In fact, they have grown to love the ever-pressing darkness within. Those humans are able to draw energy from darkness. They are not dependent on other people. They only need darkness their old friend. So, humans of darkness or humans of light, which one are you? Light? I see, I see. I'm surprised to hear that, to be honest. I hope you don't let these dungeons affect you in that case. Well, anyways, I'm a merchant of sorts. I sell precious items and weapons for those in need. Yeah, you just want children. Yep, yep. Yeah, no, I'm just going to take your stuff. Ah! Fuck, 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 fuck. 
Evade the dog. No! Okay. Okay. Show ourselves. Hello? Oh shit, wait. Because we're in a guard uniform. Wait, did the game just bork? I can't move. Guess I'm not supposed to be in a guard uniform over here. Any other spell that piqued your interest? Um, sure, there was one. and mend injuries. Oh, okay. Okay. I like it. Another helmet. Right, that's a good thing for the girl. Oh, wait, I already gave her one? Oh, nice. Okay. Ah, shit. Shit. What just happened? Um, are we fucked? Yeah, I think we're proper fucked here. Shit, well, I guess we'll get a chance to test out the, uh... Blood just spurted out of your anus. No, no, damn it! No, 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 damn it! I'm just gonna hit this guy in the head. Damn it. Oh god, is that making me skip my turn twice? Jeez. Well, looks like we're done. Let's try this. Oh, it heals both people. Whoa! It heals a lot. Stop stunning me. Oh, this is bullshit. I could, yeah, let's try that. Is it, is it with a space or is it no space? Yeah, space, okay, cool. Nice. Long combat experiences prepared you for fights. Prepare for an attack to gain advantage with shift. What? So you have to enter into a fight and press shift? What? I don't get it. So you press shift and then go and engage in a fight? Like, I'm, I'm so confused. Just test it out. I mean, sure, but you don't willingly engage in fights, you know? Okay, so I draw a sword. Probably good to just go through the conversation as well and just do things in a way that he gets the most um, excited. And should we do darkness this time just to see? Let's try it. Yes, they all are. I suspected as much. I'm glad you're able to be so honest with me. Tell me, do you love me by chance? Um, no, I just met you. Oh, very good, very good. I love honest words, even when they hurt me. Hmm, I say that now, but I'm probably going to feel really awful later on. But don't you worry about that, really. I have grown to love this feeling of being rejected. Well, anyways, I'm a merchant of sorts. Yeah, 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 Mr. Creepy. Oh. Oh. Oh, sick. Explosive vial. Let's go. 
because we did this before, but I don't remember what was over there. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Wasn't there some kind of thing about, like, a crow? Zoom. Okay, that's where the mage is. Just gonna go directly to them. Okay. Going to first hit there for you. I'm gonna hit here. Double hits, no casting. Damn it. Oh, that worked, okay. So ritual dance, so let's go for the legs. Might be our only chance of stopping them. Okay, that's, that's fine. Cool, we got him. <sighs> oh, something underneath the pile, you find two opium powders. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Okay, it's a little bit worrisome. It's a human head impaled on a tribal spear. The head is aligned in a way that is meant to intimidate passerbys. Oh, this is two heads. Go immediately. So first things first, bam. And then we'll go for leg view. Okay, this is actually going really well. Nice. Perfect. All right, we're handling the mages just fine. Don't let them get a chance to cast. Scroll of the Black Arts. Whoa. Learn the secrets of the Black Orb. For us, sure. Concentrated negative energy that can be hurled at your opponents. So it costs 20 mind. But like, this is some kind of like offensive magic now. Someone making a garden here? Oh, uh, uh hello? don't seem uh, violent. Huh. Maybe we can talk to them. The smell of gore emanates from below. You can hear the faint sounds of growling and moaning too. Um, investigate. It's pitch black down there. There's definitely something living in the close proximity judging from the growls and moans. Throw a stone bit. Stone hit something very close by, but the drop does seem a bit daunting. Oh, something of a ritual statue is standing here. It might be your imagination playing, but it almost looked like the thing moved in the corner of your eye upon entering the room. Soul stone, let's go. So rotten head to grasp an ornament hand. Human sacrifice seems to be a common theme around here. So Grogoroth uh, servants, maybe? Just, just here to grab some stuff, I'll be on my way. No need to do anything. We are friendly, very friendly. It's a crude notebook on the table, but its contents remain a mystery to you. The writing consists of random symbols that lack all finesse. Okay. Finding all kinds of shit here. Oh. Oh, this is the next level. They seem really chill with me here. Yeah, they're just they're just chilling and vibing, just hanging out. Worm juice. Ooh, red vial, nice.
Altar of Darkness. Whoa. Torch, nice. Okay. You still have a save book? I do, I do, I do. I'm, I'm waiting for a good point where something big can happen and then I'll save there. I still feel like I'm in kind of like a generally positive kind of environment now, but I feel like it'll be more useful later. Investigate. The object is an ancient looking cube with ornaments and decorations twisting around. The cube gives you a certain unnatural aura. Well, this probably is what would piss off these blue, uh, blue folk here. This could be a good time to use the save book. We've done a lot of progress, but we haven't really overcome any big struggles here. We've also settled into a very specific like style. So we could save here. The main thing that we've gotten that's kind of cool is something we don't even know really how useful it is. And that's the, um, that's the spell that we got. That's probably the most like positive RNG that we've gotten in this run so far. You could always reload if it doesn't turn out to be effective use of a save. Well, yes, but then I go with a lot of progress, you know. Yeah, let's hold on to it for now. All right, let's take the thing. Take the cube of the depths with you. It feels a lot heavier than what you expected. Okay, is that a accessory? No. Okay, it's a general item. Can't use it. Okay. Hmm. Yep. They don't like me now. Yep, I took their thing. They're upset. What the hell? Huge creatures lying dormant. Let's see if I can get through here. Yep, they know, they know. Damn it, damn it. Purifying talisman, okay. Okay. I forgot to on guard too. So let's try Black Orb. Just right in the head. Just actually, let's do it right in the torso. Just bam. And then you will have you attack the, attack the arm. Oh my God, it's a fucking magic missile. Just, deleted oh my god that's a that's a magic missile right there just auto hit crazy damage i mean not necessarily an auto hit but still yeah we don't need to need to do anything there um okay now we'll use our bottle of whiskey let's see how much this recovers whoa okay that is a lot Use a blue herb. God, we're so healthy. Jeez. Oh my god, he's down here. What the hell? Well, hello again, stranger. It hasn't even been that long, has it, my friend? There has been something bothering me lately. You wouldn't mind if we had a little one on one time together, would you? Um, sure, what's bothering you? I have been thinking about happiness. Tell me, are you happy? No. Hmm, yes, that is unfortunately the typical answer. Every day we strive to make our lives better, but almost, wait, as a curse? Oh, that was my torch, okay. We are destined to repeat the same cycle of doom and gloom. Wow, right then my torch goes out. That, that was a little... Ugh. I don't want to sound too cold or anything, my friend, but I would like to say I feel sorry for you. I would like to, but that's what everyone keeps saying, so no use going that path. And then as Pocket Cat says this, a terrifying presence enters the room. Personally, I find happiness almost unreachable, as depressing as that may sound. Ha <laughs> ha. That's just my nervous laughter. Please ignore it. I just mask my true feelings with it. Kind of like with this wooden mask of mine as well. Happiness sounds like a state that stays with you. It's not just a fleeting moment. 
you are truly happy, you should feel it lingering in the background, even in your darkest hour. At least that's what I believe, really. Many mistake happiness with joy. Joy is something you might feel briefly when you kiss a boy or a girl for the first time. You can feel joy when you are spending an evening with a close friend. Drinking wine in the candlelight, slowly one of you reaches out with his leg under the table. But joy is just temporary. It's just a faint light in the darkness to remind you that not everything is necessarily surrounded by bleak emptiness. That is the difference between happiness and joy. Since you were a child of darkness, I imagine you agree when I say that we don't get the luxury of happiness. We only know brief joy every now and then, but even that is getting more rare every day. But yeah, that's just my two cents. It's good to say these things out loud every now and then. Hmm. Interesting. Cool little continuity with our answer from before. Makes it easier to process all these mixed feelings and voices inside the head, you know? Anyways, let's get back to business. This has been very unprofessional of me. I apologize. Damn it. Damn it. I think I have met the terrifying presence, yes. Wait, what the hell is that status effect on me? It's a very nebulous status effect. Probably something that came from just interacting with uh, Pocket Cat. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Well, this is fucked up. He seems to be alive still, even with all his guts out. Oh, my God. I am sorry. Celebration of flesh. I want more. The masked gentleman seems to be in a very agitated state and is breathing heavily. His genitalia seems to be an abnormally high-pressure erection. Take part in the feast? You know, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. You know, I'm... Well, uh, yeah. Um, hmm. Rotten corpse here. Oh, resources. Scavenged. Oh, whoa, 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 I don't know about that. I feel like we're in torch territory again. Oh, wait, a sword? There's a mysterious sword stuck in the wall here. The sword emanates light blue hue. There's definitely something otherworldly about it. Investigate. The sword's quality seems very high. There are light carvings all around its blade, and they still seem to start from the handle. Uh, okay. Let's take it. Sword is stuck. You feel like you might be able to pull it out if you try it again. You get blue sin. What the hell? Mine's caved in, but you managed to survive somehow. You were stuck under the rocks and boulders. Try to move, but it's no use. Shit. So you have to sacrifice a party member? Damn it. Yeah, it was such obvious bait, but damn it. I could have saved it multiple times. Wow. Okay, okay. All the way back here. Ugh. Let's go through the motions. This one. Let's get that. Okay. Let me go straight for the wizard. So let's just go body. Let's 
go body again. There we go. Cool. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay. Sorcerer's Stone. Magical ring worn once by the Great Bethel. The ring restores mind during encounters. That's really good. So Pinecone Pig seems better, but the idea of just getting mind up from that, I guess I can put it on the girl because then I don't have to worry about her mind stuff as much. Yeah, that seems pretty solid. Oh, shit. Um, shit. I, I think I'm gonna run. Uh, okay. Can you like come this way? Cool. Bye-bye. 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 Peace. Jeez. Oh, je oh. We're okay. We're okay. Boom. Um, We will use a cloth fragment on you. Oh, no. Wait. I'm doing less damage. Oh, no. Wait. Gotta go for the head, I guess. <gasps> Elixir of mind, whoa, okay. Um, first off, mean. Second off, let's um, stop the bleeding. Also, why are we so hungry? Oh no. So it's like negative. Food doesn't do anything. Food's like negative. So maybe I need to eat rotten food? Nope, nope. Well, we're dead. I guess we're just not supposed to eat anything until that goes away. Um. Anything that can remove this? What is going on? Oh no, the number is wrong, but the red is high. So I actually, I don't have, oh no, 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 no. I'm, I've been forgetting that hunger number is going down is good. Wow. Okay. I know I have worms, yeah. Not really much I can do about that. I think the only thing I have that removes worms was something that I got in a previous run. Come on, baby. Small key. Okay. Nice. Tails never fails. Cursed short sword. Okay. Whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Bone shears are 125? Whoa. Uh, sure. Wait, why can I use this? I don't have two hands. Did the game just let me cheese it, kinda? Oh, oh, so I just dropped it immediately, okay. Never mind. I was gonna say, why is it letting me do that, but. We'll put that on. It's kind of perfect for what we want. Anyway, equip. Nothing here. Swap this to you. And then equip this back to you so we can alternate who's going to always have a topped up mind. 
Actually, let's say yes now. Oh, you do? This is the most surprising. I feel like so many people lose the sight of happiness once they grow out of their naive little views of the world they had as younglings. But perhaps it is possible to feel like that even as someone as old as you. Personally, I find happiness almost unreachable, as depressing as that may sound. Okay, so... Yeah, he's going through this again. There's the sword, okay. Oh, shit. Shit. Whoa, just give me a key. Sure. Love it. Hey, you know what? We're just gonna run. Ghost is stalling you. Um, fuck, okay, um, guard. Uh, what could I do? Purifying talisman, maybe? I feel like that could work. No, because I'm using it on me. I guess we'll just go again. We do have a cursed weapon. It might actually work. Getting ruined. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Um, let's use a red herb on us. Okay. Oh, God, look at our face. It like sapped the, the life out of us. Shit. Okay, I'll make you make a decision here and then... Nope, damn it! The juke! All right, full attack. course. Ooh. Come on. Okay. Jeez. Oh, this is terrifying. Dang, now she's got it too. You're already way too deep. The darkness is too much. Uh Oh my god. Uh Oh shit, wait. Is this like a way up and out? Oh shoot. This could be huge. Oh, this could be awesome. Fine chair sitting here. Its purpose is unknown. Maybe just store it away? Sit on it. Sure. It's nice to sit on a chair. The chair is surprisingly comfy. You can relax here for a brief minute. This is what it must feel like sitting on a throne. <laughs> the idea lingers in your mind that you came to these dungeons on your own free will. No one forced you to come here. You could have just slept late on that morning and embarked on this macabre quest of yours. There are countless things you could be enjoying at this very moment, but instead you sit in this chair surrounded by the piercing cold darkness. Sitting here knowing that the moment you get up, death might be waiting you just around the corner. It's horrible to say the least. The things you ponder while on the throne. Oh, here! Cool! This is... This is huge. So now, now we could save. Uh, yeah, let's use it here, actually. Oh wait, hold on. Big brain. Save first. Big, enormous brain. Save here first. Tails never fails. Dick! Done. 
Boom. Alright, now we'll save and rest. What? Adrenaline is running high. Come on. Come on. Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah! Okay. Okay. Huge. Oh. Okay. So now, with the power of saving the game, we will open this chest. Tails never fails. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go get some skills, baby. Okay. Now, I wonder if leg sweep is on the table because of us having fast stance. Although we know lock picking is on the table for sure. If we're attacking twice and leg sweep is like an attack type, then I would say it's probably good to get. Damn it. Okay. Can't get it. Can't get on guard. Then can y'all actually explain this to me? I'm just curious here. Is this the reason why I can't get on guard just because I don't have lock picking? You can't backfill the tree? Okay. Okay, let's try it then. Let's see if y'all were right. Hey, you were right. Awesome. Let's go. Ah, right. And we can get the doll here. Yep, give it to the girl. Nice. She seems to love it. Awesome. What is this thing? Mysterious organ is pulsing steadily. Cannot quite tell what this organ is, but there are veins coming from it and burrowing underground. Seems like it's connected to something bigger. Is Griffith inside here? A uh, torch. What is that? Oh, a skeleton. Uh. 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 Sir? Pathetic, bulky, bulky creature. Before he seems to struggle just to breathe. Ah! Uh, he delved too deep. Well. Never found out what their story was going to be. Shit. Own skeleton sits here. Oh God. Ah! No, 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 no. Yep. Oh, hi. Oh, you again. I'm surprised to see you alive, to be honest. How are you? Are we really having this conversation? No, we are not. But what is this place? We are at the gateway to the darkness. Oh, shit. They didn't mean to do that. <laughs> These are the last man-made walls you are about to see. To delve any deeper would be suicide. The wall mural depicts a lush and tranquil ancient city with towers and pillars rising high in the horizon. Yeah, there was something rising high right there. Old book with rich golden illustrations left here. Take the Book of Enlightenment with you. Whoa! Oh! Oh my god, that's huge. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Actually want the guard outfit here? Hello there. Oh my god, they were not kidding about the gateway to the darkness. Okay, just the torch. Torch is fine. Picking, sure, sure. Love to see that. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna do it. I have two of them. Let's do it. Worth. Tails never fails. Well, we'll find out what was actually gonna be in there. Oh, drinking while on duty, okay. 
You see a dark figure looming in the shadows on the other side of the bars. There's an ominous aura coming from inside. You seem to hesitate, hesitate and open the door. I would never hesitate. <gasps> Wait, it's, oh, oh shit, hold on. I can't use the bone shears, bro. His throat is cut open and he's been dead for a while. It's the man you came here for, which means that your initial mission has failed. Oh, this is, uh, the, uh, the guard got, uh, what's his name? Elgard, or, oh, the girl kneels next to the man. Oh, oh shit. She seems to recognize him from somewhere. There's a slight glimmer in her eyes resembling a teardrop. Lagarde, that's right, yeah. Your task in the dungeon is as done. There's little to no reason in staying here any longer. Whoa. Shit. What? Oh, shit. Oh, it's you. He has passed away, hasn't he? Hmm, I thought he would have had a bigger role in the greater scheme of things, but alas. Of course, him passing away doesn't mean that what he started should come to an end. After all, you came to these dungeons because of him, right? The seed of what he planted continues to grow and branch. If you continue to descend into the, into the darkness, you can understand what I'm talking about. Head down and just maybe his death won't go in vain. There's certainly an interesting bunch of people gathered here today. Ha! Huh. Well, that's my two cents anyway. Take from it what you want. Bye. Oh, hold on. I just realized those guys might literally be ghoul related, so I might be able to walk past them. I think that worked. Now, oh shit! Ancient doors stand imposing here. Even if they seem age old, there are markings on the ground suggesting that they've been used rather regularly even during modern times. You cannot make sense of the carvings on the door. They are crafted by some unknown culture. There is, however, a cube-shaped hole in the door suggesting a possible key. Oh. I see. Well, I know where that is. I guess we'll open up the thing next. Yeah, I guess we'll try cutting this thing open. Got the veins open and some purple liquid seeps from the open cut. The organ stops moving. Although you can still see some movement in the veins suggesting that whatever is connected to this thing continues to live. Organ isn't moving anymore. Okay. You just saved with the book? Mm, yeah, but I did a decent bit after that. I can always hop back to that one if I if I want to. Cube of the Depth seems to react to the doorway. You feel a pulse coming from the cube. Ancient city, the Tomb of the Gods. Are they holding their cocks out? Really? Ancient statue of great proportions. The statue seems to depict ancient kings judging from their head ornaments. Oh, this is trippy. It's like I'm walking up a wall, but also not. Stone statue standing ominously here. It's too heavy to move. It won't even budge. Lock picking. Let's go. ancient door here. The door is practically solid stone. There's no way of breaking it. I think we use another torch or buy another torch here. Let's go. Ancient city passageway. Whoa. Whoa. Ancient cityscape rises before you.
repulsed. White vial. What's this? Use tinderbox light the beacon? Sure. Lever up there. Oh, shit. Lock picking? Bars stand in your way. They seem to be way too firm to budge. Investigate. You can hear some distant sounds echoing from the darkness. A terrible odor it emanates from a distance. The statue has collapsed here, blocking the staircase. Okay. Intimidating figure is blocking the doorway. Human! You are not worthy of passing through the gates of eternity. In this tribunal, suffer through your personal trials, torment on the loss of your loved ones. Only through this pain can you reach enlightenment and understand your place in this world. If you can go through all this without still losing your original goals and dreams, only then I shall let you pass. Where, do you, where should I start? You are not worthy of passing through the gates of eternity. Wait. Oh. That's what I just asked. Figurine doesn't seem to react to your question at all. Seems like his mind is lost at the time spent down in the darkness. Okay. Beacon of the Depths is standing here. The beacon's mechanisms are ancient. The light it radiates is supposed to guide souls to the next world. There appears to be a place for a cube-shaped object on the front. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, shit! Okay, this is really cool. Feel prying eyes from the darkness of the windows. We're back at the time of the, uh, the Golden Age. Let's see if things are different down here so we can go through the... Yeah, the statues aren't broken down. Dusty old books fill the bookshelf. Okay, let's search. Find Blood and Flower Magic 1. Tales never fails. Nothing. Stack two full. Okay, well, we got a book. All right, in this book, I reminisce about my time as the Eastern Sanctuaries with my late master, Nazara the Great. You see, I was given honor of being an apprentice to the Great Wizard. My time with him was brief, and I only managed to scratch the surface of the immense knowledge he possessed. In this book, I will list out the secrets and spells he spoke of on how to acquire the knowledge behind these blood magics and flower magics. You have to seek that information elsewhere. These will be his words. Oh, right, this whole thing. Wish upon his soul and bind it back to their umbilical cord. I don't know what they have done to me. I can really point my finger at least shut the house. Wars. Right, those are just the different types of magic, basically, that the gods grant people. Whoa, now we can see it in all its glory. Cool. Ancient statue stands here. Do you want to pray? Pray to the god of the depths. You finished praying. Okay. Let's go in here. A few ancient scrolls. Tales never fails. Let's go. Scroll of the wizards. Secrets that only the most committed wizards learn in time. Greater blood magic. You can use magic more efficiently. Oh shit. So we'll use less mind per spell, basically. Oh shit. Oh shit, wait. Perfect. We need to go down. Ring of the Still Blood. Morning Star. Two Morning Stars. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I got two Morning Stars from that. And I got Ring of the Still Blood. The curse ring is said to make blood still and thus prevent bleeding. There's no way to explain this but magic. Whoa! Tails never fails. Yes! Let's go! Eagle Crest Shield. Well, fuck you, game! Ah, Hillman. I am what they call a wizard. But I do not wear a pointy hat. Well then, good luck with that. Well, no, how are you a wizard then? 
I sell magical artifacts, even if they are precious to me. I have, you have 99 silver coins, what do you want to trade them for? Oh! Oh! Yes! Whoa! Well, we definitely want elixir of body. We already have a sorcerer's stone. Soul devour necklace seems really cool though. So let's grab that. Let's grab another soul stone. And then we'll buy an elixir of body. Oh my lord. And just 12 silver coins! My... My, my, my fellow uh, wizard, did you not know that there were 12 coins just chilling down there? Just chilling down there. I think we'll just grab another soul stone. Wait, let's see this little turtle pig thing. A mysterious statue of a pig is standing here alone. The statue seems hollow inside. Oops. Knock it. The statue sounds hollow. Light is seeping from between the doorway cracks, but the doors are sealed and won't budge. There are carvings that seem to depict gods entering the doorway, but a human being being left outside. That's your interpretation, at least. There's also a shape of a king's crown on the door, suggesting a possible key. Doors won't even budge. So maybe we can take it out, and then it'll set things back. I guess that's basically what's left. Yeah, reset the things. Okay. Let's see what it says now. Just repeats, this is gonna react. Oh, I guess we didn't go to here when the, uh, we didn't go this way. So let's go back. So here's it. Another place to reset time. This room is filled with meat eating flies. Nothing but this lone bed in the room. The room feels somewhat safe. Safe as a place in the city, as a place can in this city that is. Oh, it's a free rest, wonderful. Okay. As you fall asleep, rest streams take over your consciousness. Fever streams make you twist and turn in the bed as you fall deeper and deeper. Whoa. As you open your eyes, you find yourself in the misty back streets of the kingdom of Rondon. You've visited the city numerous times before, which is why you recognize the streets clearly, but there's something uncanny about its house and street lamps. Something feels off. Oh no, this is our test. This is our test. Oh shit, wait. I'm ready, Oliver. Take me. Wait, so has the dungeon been my memories playing a version of events of something I've seen before and this is the actual memory? What is going on? I'm ready, Oliver. Take me. I'm ready to meet my end. This is as far as I got. I can't get any satisfaction. There is no fulfillment. I've reached the limits this feeble body can withstand. There is no silver lining waiting to get at the end. The purpose of us all is to sliver under the cold sun the gods have set above us. Nice little Dark Souls reference. What the fuck was that? What's that? These visions. I see. I understand. Let me down from here. Oh shit. Oh, that's wild. Okay. So we learned something about Enki then. Worm juice, let's go!
Okay. What's that red aura? Met with the smell of mold and creaking floorboards. It's a long list of customers here. Oh, sure. Just, just, just don't mind me. Celesta, you're still doing this job with the little one on the way and all? Wait, what? This is me talking. Yeah, well, there's folks that fancy stuff like this. If anything, I feel like there's more gentlemen folks asking for my service these days. Men sure are weird like that. This isn't right. I don't like it. Honey, I don't know what to say. Girls gotta eat, and now I got the little one to feed as well. I'm a man. I should take care of you two. The world doesn't always go the way we'd want. Oh, shit, yeah. This is us. Because we ended up going... We ended up going, uh... Here. Yeah. Oh. For all my life, I've drifted along wherever the wind took me. But it doesn't have to be like that. We don't always, we don't always have to stay at the mercy of the winds. Or the gods. I might have the answer. I got a new gig a few days ago. It's a pretty daunting task, but it will get us the silver we need. I'm leaving tomorrow if... No, when I get back, things will change. You just wait and see. Honey. Oh, shit. Just promise you do come back. Yeah, yeah. Well. Shit. something moving in the shadows. Oh, it's a kid. What? Oh! <gasps> oh, shit. Eyes vanished into the shadows where they appeared from. Oh, my God. It's Pocket Cat. You don't feel the presence of the child or the entity, enti entity anymore. brought this to yourself. Sins must be paid. I blame the older gods why they curse us with this sickness. Sick man is breathing heavily. Whoa. Ragnvalder, yeah. W what is this? Oh, that's them up there. Ulva, are you still alive? <laughs> Ragnvalder, you came. They, they came while you were gone. Those knights, who were they? Knights of the Midnight Sun. Oh shit. Knights of the Midnight Sun? <laughs> the pretty man. Some a fair maiden. The captain, he wanted the. Uh, uh, what we brought from. from the Vinland. Uh, 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 I think. I'm going to sleep now. Ulva, rest in peace. Uh, Hilda and Bjorn! Oh God, oh God. <laughs> this can't be. Unforgivable. Unforgivable. Hopefully that, like, reset the dogs just there. Oh, old lady. Lone old woman is working in the shadows. Talk? 
I'm try talking some sense to this monstrosity. Wait, we don't have to fight. Skin Granny doesn't react to your words. Oh! Well. Okay. Shit. Um. Gotta go for it, I guess. It did nothing. What? <laughs> Boss broke my game and that was a good run. I mean, like that was a really good run. Unfortunately, that wasn't a save going into that memory space, so yeah, these sound effects are much more comforting than the usual ones. Studies of Almer, okay. Almer one. Born from humble origins of a virgin mother. Human origin with the seed laid down by a false god. A god walking amongst men, Almer would gather 12 apostles from his most trusted companions. Oh, we're getting real specific here. <laughs> Together, they were to bring back the old world order. Kings and sultans of the time would not stand idle when a man of undeniable godlike posture came down to their golden city gates. Instead, they would capture Almer. The newborn god would be nailed onto a cross, arms spread wide, and be left for the crows to feast on. There's the crow, yeah. But Almer was to ascend, arms still spread wide, still sp widespread from the cross he would soar, becoming the symbol we know of today, turning his cross-ridden posture into something greater. A symbol of hope and domination. Spending three days and nights at the night at the city of the gods Mahabra, he would return among men with his mourning eleven apostles. He would murder the kings and sultans of the time as it was just, bringing back the old world order. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Empty scroll! Oh, oh my god! Yo, I just got an empty scroll. Oh shit, this is different. There's a knight from the kingdom of Rondon here. She's scarred, dismembered, and badly beat. Dead, in other words. Seems like her ribs are crushed by an intense force. No, I know. Apparently you can get a lot of good stuff. I I am I am well aware. There are some crazy things that I've been able to uh that I've been able to get. Oh, shit, what is that? What is that? What are you? What are you? No, damn it. No, 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 no. Worm juice. Cool. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Scroll of marksmanship. Wait, that's... Isn't that just a skill? Well, actually, hold on. Marksmanship might not be good for me because I have a missing arm, but the girl doesn't seem to be able to hold adult weapons, so it might be horrible. Let's run the risk, take it there. Is your extra speech? Yeah, dang it. Not gonna be useful, but hey, if I get my arm back, who knows? Soul Devour Necklace. That's literally just what the guy offers. Wow. So just boost your magic defense to a crazy amount. Books, journal of a long lost prisoner here. All I wanted to res was to resurrect her. I loved her so, but now I'm but a prisoner waiting for my miserable end. Hope people once again meet, joined in the afterlife. The handwriting in the journal itself looks like several hundred years old. Water tank is set here. You can see a creature floating inside. 
creature's got no eyes. You can peer through the darkness inside its eye sockets. Darkness peers back at you. You feel shaken. There's something written here. Why, why, why? What is the secret? Why won't it work? Black liquid. Let's scoop it in. Yep. We got more. Let's keep going. How many glass vials do I even have? Oh, I still have two more that are empty. Dang. Okay, it's crafting time, baby. One of these. Explosive vial. Hell yeah. One of these. A fetus? Oh, God. It's a, it's a thing we can sacrifice. It's something for, like, all those times where it's like, you need human children. Okay. Empty scroll number two? What? Something written here. I refuse. This cannot be the limit of my mind. I refuse. Silent grace in life. Hid in your eye. In eyes I used to dream all night. Wasted tears weigh in my back. From our love of lies. Lies I used to stay awake all night. Chains in my heart. Gaining weight before your eyes. Too heavy for me to bear. Can't you see me suffer? So hard to withstand even a sight of your eyes. Chains in my heart so heavy I can't defy. You ponder these lines in your head. Wasn't um, a person in our memories reading poetry? Oh, uh, yeah, what was it? Healing, um, healing whispers? Was that it? Let's invoke our Lord. Oh, Lord. Teach. Could go for blood golem now. Teach. Cool. Oh, that's the guy that was at the uh, the spot. Human, I'm to grow up to become a warrior. I want to become the same as Big Brother. I'll watch over the city as its guardian one day. I will send Idol, guarding the gates of eternity. Have mercy on me when we meet, then. I will show no mercy, as neither does the big brother. Hmm, human? It's a rare audience. Are you just a tourist, or are you here for trading? Who are you? Me? I'm what you call the, sh the chief. At least in current times, chief figurines come and go. Oh. What is this place? You are and I am at the city of the gods, Mahabra. This is where the gods used to reside once upon a time. They don't reside here anymore? No, those new ones are sleeping at their beds. Hmm. Be for trading. I believe in knowledge and enlightenment. That is why I got a selection of books to pass my time. Whoa. Whoa. These are... This is potentially really good. Oh, I know I don't have this, so let's try this then. This book is about various recipes from the famous chef, Chef Anders of the Royal Kitchen of Rondon. Even if the book portrays itself as a recipe book, it seems to tell more about the notorious Chef Anders himself. It's more of a bio biography book, greatly over-exaggerating his life's triumphs and challenges as the royal chef. Seems to be a nice love story twist, too, with the princess of the court. Between all this romance and betrayal, you find recipes of Chef Anders' famous meat pie and vegetable pie. Do we now? Oh... Temple of Torment, level one. Oh. Is Griffith down here? Oh, hi. Oh, no, I didn't want to fight. I just... Oh, shit. Let's go. Arm guards. Wait. Oh. <laughs> yeah, about that. Um I mean it still works, right? Hey. <gasps> Yo!
Yes! Oh my god. Um, yeah, we'll save. Whoa. Oh! Oh! Incredible. Oh. Oh. So, we should probably check this guy. Intimidating figure, and he's still standing tall here. Human, I am what they call the guardian. I was created to defend this city with my life. I am to look after the city until the king returns to this land. Yes, the king will return one day. He is the one who created this city. Where did he go? It is not my concern. I was just created to guard this city. All right, let's test his uh, dialogue tree here. What do you protect here? I protect the passage of the king that lies behind the gates of the eternity. Fancy names for old derelict city walls. Hmm. I like them. <laughs> okay, that's cute. King. How long has he been gone? I do not know. He was talked among the elder figurines aeons ago. Huh? Statue of an eerie being. You're not sure if it's human or not. You hear a slight hum as you look into the depths of its eyes. Whoa. Okay. Right. Statue of a man that has features resembling people from eastern sanctuaries. The man has a specially vile look on his face. Statue of the new god. Foul tale, the enlightened one. Something written here. I am frustrated. Is there truly no solution? So frustrated. I think I'll go see my mannequins. Come on, tails, baby. Why? Dusty globe. It seems to depict the world map, but some of these continents are unknown to you and to the rest of the civilized world. It's a row of eerie figurines set here in varying poses. There all seems to be a mechanism connected to the mannequins. Let's use it. It's a puzzle. The answers are the poses from the JoJo torture dance? No way. Wait, 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 really? I'll have to come back to that when I get more direct hints. Painting of a tower shrouded in mist here. They're just going to ignore that eye. No big deal. Painting of a dark character. The blacks in the painting are surprisingly dark. Okay. Fellowship Chapter 2, original. Fellowship Chapter 2, let's see this. The Fellowship found their way to the ancient tombs that would lead them to their confrontation with the older gods. The Fellowship persisted through the numerous hazards and dangers the older gods threw at them. Eventually, all five of them would reach the Golden Gates of Mahabra, the very same gates Ulmer ascended from 800 years prior. It seemed like the Fellowship had bested all the challenges gods laid for them, but at the most crucial moment, a seed of doubt was planted in the minds of the fifth one. The Forgotten was, that was a scholar of many arts and sciences, and as such believed what was laid before the eyes. The older gods would use this to their advantage and create a grand lie, a lie about the greater scheme of things. The grand lie told of the way the older gods directed the flow of mankind, that many had gone before the same trials as the Fellowship, yet nothing had changed for the better for men as eons went by. This suspicion created a drift between the Fellowship. In the end, the four other members proceeded with the initial mission, trusting fate and glory that was just inches away from them. The Fellowship tore down the legacy of the old gods and created a new world order, an age where mankind decided their own fate, an age of growth and prosperity. The Fellowship became the new gods we know and love today. The Forgotten One was never again seen or heard. The Fifth One simply disappeared in the depths of time. Whoa. Crazy lore. From my starting point, I've set my aims to create a worker class being, similar to the clay figurines of ancient times. There's one clear flaw in the design of the clay figurines. However, they are seemingly eternal beings. Only as they get damaged over time do they eventually perish. I do not believe my creations, my children, so to speak, should ever outlive me, their creator, their father. That's why I decided to create the life form from the very same fabric fragile humans were created from, flesh. The silhouette of the form is very sturdy in order to carry on the working duties. I was able to combine existing matter into one, and the life form has gotten its shape already. The hairiness is a side product of mold. It doesn't serve any obvious purpose, but I suppose it could keep the form warm in more colder climates as well. I was able to achieve this form rather easily, and there doesn't seem to be any immediate flaws in its design either. Before going further with my studies, I decided to test different approaches as well. Besides organic matter, I decided to work in creating a mechanical life. 
Mechanical structures are far more simple than those created from flesh, so the figurine was ready in just a few years. The figurine is not strong enough for physical labor, nor do I need another one for the same purpose, so I repurpose them for my pastime pleasure. I have already achieved all this in a matter of a few years. I can only imagine what I'll be able to achieve with the eternity I have before me. Voltail. So that's one of the new gods or something, and the fellowship, essentially, as well. Come on. There we go. Find Book of Enlightenment. Hell yeah! Let's go! Okay, so will it say once I've gotten this correct? Like, will something change? I feel like the answer is pretty obvious. I feel like I come back out here, I shift time, see what the things are put into, see what they're like stuck in. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay, okay, okay. Actually, no, 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 no. We got this. We're gonna take a photo. So this one is to the side. Okay, got that. We're doing it, chat, we're doing it. And this is the Hadouken. All right, let's check the area. Some crude writing on the side. North of here, Grand Libraries of Enlightenment. East of here, Central Square and Tower of Endless. South of here, Temple of Torment. Okay. And we didn't really fully explore this area. Oh! There's an ancient text written here that you cannot understand. Right here anyway. Oh no. Oh no. You agree with towering figurines. They are sitting idle next to huge dining tables. You get ominous vibes from them, but at the same time there's a peaceful and still atmosphere filling the air. Are they the gods? Oh, the new gods, welcome. You have earned three questions. Use them wisely. Ask anything you want to. What subject do you want to know more about? Oh! So we have three empty scrolls? Shit, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to phrase this because it doesn't have first verse or anything there, so. So I just say, like, Almer, for instance. Pocket cat lore? Sure. Pocket cat. We do not understand the question. What? You have two questions left. What? So, what? What? Do I have to phrase it as a question? Like, who is Pocket Cat or something? It was all in capitals? What, are you kidding me? Fine. Pocket Cat, a servant of the trickster god, the moon. His motivations lie in the path laid out by the older god. Unfortunately, even we don't understand his mysterious ways. You have one more question left. Well, that's, that was a whole lot of nothing. So, uh, he's a trickster, but uh, that we don't know. He's weird. Can I do something of like my memories or something like that? Girl? Oh, sure, sure. Like this? Okay, let's try it. Girl, a pure being in which both strength of the new gods and seed of the man from the prophecies come together. Never in the written history has there been a similar situation. It's truly exciting, isn't it? We can expect great things from her. You got a book of enlightenment. Wow! All right. Sure. All right, it's time. So I was pretty dang close. Yeah, I was really dang close. Okay.
Nice. Let's go. Uh, who are you? Hello. A man just jumped down into the darkness. As you take a look down to the darkness, someone looks like you see a giant shape floating toward you. Fellowship Chapter One. Let's go! The following pages tell of the events that took place in the year 809 after the birth of our Christ, the Ascended One. Okay. Fellowship consisted of five people. Francois, the dominating one. Nilvin, the endless one. Oh wow, Sylvan, that's close. Valtiel, the enlightened one. Nice. Shambara, the tormented one. And then there was the fifth one. She who never aspired for the same greatness as the rest of the party. Whose story bears no listeners. The forgotten one. The furtive pygmy so easily forgotten. The fellowship was formed to seek the older gods who left humanity without guidance, without aid in the times of great peril. The great kingdoms were slowly rotting away and the grand values mankind once aimed for were displaced by defiled principles and practices. Back then there existed an ancient tomb to ancient city of Mahabra that worked as a hub for multiple different planes of existence. A place where man could meet his maker. Those who would set their foot inside would end up in a forever going turmoil of godly dimensions and planes of afterlife. It is here that the fellowship would demand the rights of self-governing for mankind. Freedom to choose our own destiny and build the future we deserve. Oh god, maybe they get just below these ladders. Oh god, uh... Maybe we should save. Oh god, I'm lost. I'm so lost. Wait, this looks right. This looks right. Yeah, this looks right. Yay! All right, there we go. Oh my gosh. Oh. Come on. Oh. This game. This game.